Hi Pisces, this is your career reading for January 4th through January 15th, 2021. And this could resonate with Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So since it's a general reading, I'm just going to jump right in and see what's going on for you in your career energy for the next 10 or so days. Okay, Pisces, so out first here we have the Two of Pentacles, working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities and balancing the budget. So you are juggling something, kind of walking a tightrope with your work here. Um, yeah, maybe you have more than one job and some things could be kind of getting out of balance with your money situation or you're trying really hard to keep your money situation in balance. Um, right away, it's kind of giving me the vibes of like after the holidays, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to rebalance your budget and to get comfortable again. So then we have the King of Pentacles and it says compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent or spouse and a good person to work for. So this could be you Pisces, or this could be your boss, this King of Pentacles. It also could be your spouse. So um, it, the King of Pentacles is going to be an earth sign to give you a better idea of who that may be in your life, but just take it however re it resonates. If you thought of someone right away and said, oh, I know who that is, well, then that's probably who that is. So then we have the Hermit reversed. So someone here, it could be you or it could be this King of Pentacles, is coming out of a time of going within, being kind of quiet. Uh, so let's get some more information and see what's going on. What is this Hermit in reverse, please? So we have the Queen of Swords. So um, now, you know, at first we did have only masculine energy on the board. So now with the Queen of Pen, uh, sorry, the Queen of Swords, we have a feminine energy coming out to clarify the Hermit. So the Hermit could be a uh, air sign with this Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So someone here is trying to make a decision if they should cut something out. Then we have the Hermit, oh, the Hierophant in reverse now. So someone maybe hasn't had the enlightenment that they need in a situation or feels that they haven't gotten the information in a situation. Then we have death in reverse. So this is someone who is deciding not to start something new here. And then we have the Ten of Cups upright. So... This is about someone who is really trying to balance their work life and their home life and their happiness, but also their responsibilities. And, you know, with the two of pentacles, it really sounded kind of difficult. I mean, as you can see, this person is not only walking a tightrope, they're also on a boat. So it does symbolize that the ground you stand on literally is a bit unstable at this time, even though you are remaining keeping your balance at this time. So something in your surroundings just hasn't felt stable. It's felt really hard for you to keep the balance. And maybe there is somebody in the situation, maybe this King of Pentacles, if that's not you, who, um, you know, they're not going within right now, I see with the Hierophant reversed. So like, I don't think that it is that they're being quiet. You know, maybe they're kind of <laughs> talking too much about the wrong thing, or something that's kind of triggering to other people. Um, and then we have someone who's considering maybe leaving this job or leaving a relationship, because it's too much of a struggle to keep the two in balance. So my feeling is with the Ten of Cups coming out upright is that Pisces, you may be considering leaving your job because it is causing your personal life to not be as rewarding or you may not have as much time for it. Or it even could be that your job is kind of threatening you feel to break down, you know, your family relationships or your romantic relationships. So then we have the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse 
and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so I think that this is going to be is when you decide to tell your boss or your um, company that you would like to walk away, they might give you like some kind of offer like, oh, please don't. Uh, we'll give you X, Y, and Z, but it's kind of not a big offer, I don't think. And you are the in the Four of Swords energy here where you're just like not getting the rest you need you know even if they offer you some more money or gifts or whatever it is or even offer you a higher position you're thinking that still isn't going to give me time to rest and I only have so many hours in the day so then with the king of pentacles being reversed I'm just seeing this as like a, a reversed offer like a denial of that offer so they may come back with a counter offer if you say look I want to put in my two weeks or I want to put in my resignation but I feel that ultimately Pisces you're going to say no that isn't going to work for me so then we have the empress reversed yeah again no new beginning not birthing something new whatever this offer and work they're giving you to try to make this a better situation for you is just like it just doesn't have a chance is what it feels like um so so no it's not gonna feel like a new beginning is being offered again it just feels like yeah now I would have even more responsibilities there and even less time to rest even if I'm being offered more money so then we have the knight of pentacles reversed and it also seems like this offer of more money that they are gonna maybe offer you isn't even that stable in itself like i get the feeling that the offer is made to sound a lot better than it actually is and i don't mean to say that you know i think that your job or whatever who you work for is really shifty or anything it's just like I just think it would take a lot to balance the situation where you could be happy and so that, you know, they might give you kind of, you know, a loose timeline where they say, we'll give you this amount of money or, you know, this raise or whatever now. And then down the road, you know, you'll get this raise or this promotion, but they don't exactly give you a like concrete timeline is what I'm getting. So so it's a little bit up in the air, which again, I don't mean to make your organization sound bad. It's like, but it might've been a little bit hastily thrown together, this thing that they're offering because they may have not expected you to um, quit or, or tell them that you're unhappy. So let's get an Oracle card and just see if there's anything else Spirit would like to tell you about this whole thing. So we have solitude, which was in the reverse, and it says rest, ponder, and quiet sanctuary. So yeah, it's just coming through loud and clear that you just have too much going on with your work and your home life. I think that your home life is happy and stable, and I think that that is something, you know, that's really important to you. But with work and home, it's just too much. There is no rest. There's no quiet time. There's no solitude. There's no sanctuary. Like, after you finish work and then do what you need to at home, which, again, I think that you love, there's just, like, you know, it's probably like you just fall asleep, like dead tired. Like there's no time for you to do your spiritual practices or have, um, maybe like a lot of fun. Like, again, I want to say I, I, you have the 10 of cups up here for your relationship or your home life, which is great. So I don't want to make it sound like you don't enjoy that or love that. Just like time for you, just you Pisces. I don't think you get a lot of that. So finally, let's just see if there's any closing words Spirit would like to give you. So it's the White Eagle reversed. And this says the connection to divine guidance is within you. So you may be feeling out of touch with your own divine guidance right now, Pisces. You're an incredibly intuitive sign and naturally you're very connected to the divine, but you may just be feeling like you can't hear your own inner voice or your own guidance at this time. And I think it's because of this lack of solitude. So if you can find just a little bit of time and space to clear your head, I think that would be healthy. But I mean, I see that you don't have a lot of that. So I wish you the best of luck in this Pisces. I hope this was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, you can see more videos like this. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.